directly right there behind me. Uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to intro you to uh, a guy that's probably my best friend in the world. Uh, he's uh, from all the way from Brazil, but man, we clicked, and uh, he's like my basically he's like my brother. Please welcome Mr. Marcel Camargo. Uh, right behind me here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is my very truly best friend. My, uh, he's truly my really real best friend. He completes my sentences, sentences, and um, I just love him. I would do anything he told me. If he said to me like, do whatever, I would do it because that's what we're like. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my very bestie, Mr. Ryan Lerman. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my truly real best, best friend. In the, the first three, I get what you're thinking, but the first three, uh, I just wanted to have a really good warm intro because the horn section and the drum about their faces turning around on things, and I, I don't even like the first three guys. I just introduce you to them. <laughs> Not really. I look at it okay. As workers, it's a good worker relationship. Good. Basically, they're like slinkies, you know? They don't do shit, but I love pushing them down the stairs to see what happens. But this guy right here, to my right, that is, you can't, best friend isn't enough of a That's word. There's, you, it's not enough to describe what he is to me. He is my other half. He's the yin to my yang. He is, if we were on the Titanic, I would be, Rose or Jack, it didn't matter which one. He would, I would, one of us would be Rose and the other would be Jack, and our love would go on forever. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mr. Harvin Luong. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Alan Chang. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, uh, he's calling me a racist right now. It's what he's doing. <laughs> uh, and dickweed was what he just used. <laughs> uh, the truth is, uh, he's my best friend. He really is. And, uh, uh, we've been working together for the last 12 years, and anything you've ever heard on the radio is basically Al and I. And I always thought it'd be kind of cool to show an audience kind of how we, how we write a song. And uh, it's not always, you know, we don't sit for days. We, sometimes if it's right, it takes a long time for us. And uh, um, we just kind of keep going at it in a very formulaic way sometimes. But that's just how we do it. And uh, this one, uh, I started writing. I was a kid. I was about 17 years old. And uh, so I kind of thought it'd be cool to take you to how it started. Uh, and then sort of show you where it ended. Oh, right. I'm going to sit next to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's do it. Each night I wonder as I lay beside you. <laughs> Did you just say, oh? You know what's sad? What's sadder than, than I was 17. This is the shit that I was right here. That's right. Yeah. Each night I wonder as I lay beside you why I'm the one who you've given. This chance to each time I imagine my life without you, don't know that I have the strength to carry me. And when you sleep tonight, and while you dreaming on. Cause when I sleep and when I dream 
I dream of you. That's how it started, and this is how we finished it.